Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Last time we finally managed to make it out of the Caldera Station and make our way through the shadow, the dark place New York, um, to go back to our high-rise apartment where apparently uh, Alice, uh, remnants of Alice, or I guess, uh, I don't know if the dark place has been spying on Alice and telling us that... Um, Basically, after she made it out of the Dark Place, she has started a Dark Place exhibition after encountering Scratch, Mr. Scratch, potentially, in the middle of the night, coming in, screaming at her, that kind of shit, right? So she set up cameras all around the apartment and has now apparently been making an exhibition called the Dark Place out of it. And that was the last of Alan's story that uh, he was telling to Saga and Alex. And last we left off, we started playing as Saga. So let's continue onwards. Man, there is a heat wave going on right now. It is crazy. I don't even have my AC on right now because it interferes with the... With my with my voice, just has like a low rumble in the background, so just have got just got my fans on, but that is totally fine. Okay, so right, we got some profiling stuff to do. Okay, so let's do this first. So wake. The cult and the clicker. Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter, the next chapter, the next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Yeah, that actually makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. But even then, like, he doesn't need to technically even have the pages. He's the one writing the story, right? Him or even Scratch. But I doubt Scratch would write the cult leaders having the... Or not the leaders, the cult members having the clicker. Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place, scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here, in Washington. He's hunting Wake. Scratch and Wake. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. I mean, they're clearly connected. They look exactly like each other. Uh, how do I get to the board? Um, what's this clue here? Alan Wake interview. I don't even know where this would go. Who's involved? Alan Wake, maybe? Oh. Wake just gave us a lot of information. But this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. So can't say if I understand all this, but if Wake is telling the truth, then his magic light switch is the most tangible lead. Let's start there. So where is the clicker? Wait, the cult of the tree is in possession of the clicker. <laughs> I already I was already looking into the cult. Two birds, one stone. So what's the other one? Oh wow, 17 clues here. And I have three clues here. 
Oh, this is... Oh, it is. There are new stuff. Because this one doesn't have anything new. Okay. So the story. So the story is basically the pages. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return. Written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? Wah, wah. Okay, well. Wake wrote a book in the dark place called Return. Scratch edited it into a horror story. The story's events are slowly coming true. So how does story change reality? The rules. And the dark place? Alright, so. No, 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 no. Some other strange reality, the dark place, merge with ours. This place and the dark place. The place, or the page called this area an overlap. <clears throat> so that would be here. The page describes the overlap being related to the dark place, where Wake was. An overlap needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality eroded by repeated dark lore and a counterpoint crafted this... Crafted in depths of the dark place, connecting the story on the other side. For the overlap to form, it can't just be an urban legend. It must be supported by an accompanying narrative in the dark place. I mean, yeah. It makes sense. I mean, I don't know who would just come up with the with the overlap as an urban legend without having written it into existence in the first place, but I don't know. Wild imaginations, I guess. I entered the Cauldron Lake overlap by reciting the poem. So this is still part of the overlap. I guess how to enter. The poem was about a local legend, a witch's lost heart, about terror. Wake was trapped in the dark place for 13 years. Um... I guess this would go here. Yeah. Wake was in another world the entire time. There's an entity inside the dark place called the Dark Presence. According to Wake, the Dark Presence can sometimes take his appearance. How and why? And then Dark Presence. Flashlight seems to weaken Taken. No? Maybe this one. No. Oh, light and the dark presence. It would make sense that light is effective against the dark presence, too. Inside a bright light, Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her here. Well lit areas are safe from the dark presence and the Taken. Wake in the form of Scratch, the dark presence is editing Wake's story, wants to turn the world into a fucking nightmare. <laughs> No, that would be... Yes, just the Dark Presence, yeah. Okay, well, I obviously can't let that happen. <laughs> Thanks, Saga. Wake. Scratch and the Dark Place are interchangeable. When the Dark Presence looks like Wake, it goes by the name Scratch. An evil twin is a bit convenient. I'll keep an eye on it. I mean, again, if he's been missing for... If the FBI's been saying that he's been missing for years, for 13 years, then how is everyone still claiming that there's a guy that looks exactly like Alan Wake walking around? Wake, the story changes our reality bit by bit. The process is gradual. This one goes here, yeah. That means the effect isn't immediate. There's still time to fix this. Wake says that the dark place can be accessed from the bottom of Cauldron Lake. That would be how to enter? Yeah. Nah. No? The dark place. A dimension that's home to monsters. Huh. Wild stuff. I mean, you've seen it. Kind of. Another world reached via Cauldron Lake. Home to the dark presence. Bleeding into our world through overlaps. So what, Cauldron Lake is the gateway to some other world? Yeah. Wake. Fiction coming into contact with the Dark Place has the power to change reality. Hmm. 
So whatever you write in the dark place becomes reality. It can't be that simple. Oh, but it is. Wait, if we don't stop it, Scratch will use the story to permanently change reality at the start of Deerfest. Keep trying. Um, that would be how to stop the story, maybe? Yeah. That only gives us two days to stop this. Something tells me they're not going to make it. And that's probably going to be like the halfway point of the game or something. I again, purely speculation. Uh, Wake must get the clicker before Scratch. With it, the story can be changed and Scratch will be sent back to the dark place. The clicker. A magic light switch? Where do I even start with that? That's for later, which means I haven't done everything yet. So what's our goals? Learn more about the clicker and interrogate Wake. How many? We only have two scraps. Okay. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for now. Okay, Mr. Wake, I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Did they not this frisk him? This is all I have. Be careful with them. Uh, before I take those, what's you right here? Can I see? Dark Presence, get Nightingale. Trapped in Lake Dark Place 2010. What is that? Yo, but you, but not you? Wrote back to get out the pages. Dark Presence, Scratch, alias Evil Double. Scratch changed Wake's book, Horror Story. Changes reality, Deerfest, special light switch. That's what it looks like. You don't have anything to say, Alex? Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew a weapon. Okay, if the pages are meant, if the pages mention Saga, why would you not share that information with her? I mean, clearly you have to give it to her to progress the story. You know what I mean? I, like, if it said like Alan, like Alan was alone or whatever, like I, I get it that I I would get why he's hesitant to give it over to to Saga, give the pages over to Saga. But if the pages are about Saga, why would you not give it to her? This is weird. Okay, the trailer. Standing inside the trailer at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. Her mind reeled from what the horror story was now claiming about her, her life, her past. She didn't accept it. She stepped out of the trailer. She needed air, but she wasn't alone. A cultist stared at her from behind a deer mask. She drew a weapon, shouted, ran after him. Now we know what to look forward to. Uh, the trail of the cult. If Wake is telling the truth, the clicker is the best lead I currently have, but where is it? Standing inside the trailer at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time. Oh. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. So Wake's clicker in cult possession, somewhere in watery. Trailer significant somehow. So I need to drive to watery now. 
It's all on the page. The clicker, the cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. From now on, you could switch between Alan and Saga stories via the bucket in the janitor's break room. Feel free to play in whatever order you choose. Cool. Oh, that. Switch reality. Okay. Um, I guess we'll play a saga for a while since we've been playing as Alan. You wrote these pages in the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them. I remember writing an endless amount of pages. But when this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you for your cooperation. And Saga's also an idiot, by the way. If she's saying... If she's putting stock on where the clicker is, based on what she's read in the pages, she knows that there's going to be a guy in a fucking deer mask who's coming after her. And yet she's still going alone. I know I'm I'm picking the story apart to shit. I know. I still love the game. I'm I'm still maintaining that this kind of shit is all going to be explained. Wait, he remembers writing many pages while in the dark place. Um I have no idea. Oh, writing part of ritual. That makes sense. If Wake is the origin of the pages, then no cult connection. Unless the cult is working with Scratch. I mean, yeah, that makes sense too, actually. Wake, the cult could be followers of Scratch. They have the clicker after all. Wait, what is it? The cult could be followers of Scratch. Who's involved, maybe? No. Cult cult called working for or with someone. Why work for Scratch? What does the cult get out of it? I mean, they could just be fanatics, right? Believing in, like, the the cult of the word or whatever. Page was placed inside Nightingale's chest. Why are we bringing this up now? <laughs> oh, uh... Writing's part of ritual. Yeah. A, t a page where his heart should be. Tat text tattooed on the missing heart. Can't be a coincidence. Nightingale spoke in excerpts from the play pages. The other taken were speaking strangely, too. The pages are clearly connected, but how? And then the story. I think I had one more page, but it's for later. Alright, so let's do a quick save. Then we'll head out. I'm the only one who understands the forces behind this. I can help you. No, 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 that's not how this works. You're a civilian, and we don't do ride-alongs. And if Scratch is after you, then so is the cult. We don't know who we can trust here. Damn it, you are making a mistake. Mm-hmm. I'll be sure to add that to the list. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Okay. Past favorite Deerfest floats. Go. The yarn puppet monstrosity. The stuffed moose and squirrels one. No, thank you. Those beady dead marble eyes still give me nightmares. This guy's still dancing, man. 
So who's in for a bet this year? A hundred bucks says there'll be at least one fender bender between the floats. For that amount of money, you'll cause it yourself. Yeah, I'm not taking that wager. Too many opportunities for interference. Excuse me, sir. Hello, and welcome to Coffee World, voted Washington's best coffee-themed amusement park. All of our attractions are family-friendly and available to children of all ages. Just like our coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so, take a sip of our Oh Dear Diner organic coffee and let the adventure begin! For dear life on the Espresso Express. Express. Oh! So can some local history at the Huatari Well, where two serial killers once hid the disemboweled bodies of their murder victims. Uh, it's not a haunted. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Come join Mocha Moose and the goats at our amusement park petting zoo. Just don't share your coffee with the goats. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. Seriously. <laughs> it's not a moon. Take in amazing views from the slow roaster of Ferris Wheel. I can almost see the Warrior Lighthouse trailer park. This is so much fun. And finish off at our beautiful gift shop where seniors and children under 10 receive a 9% discount on keychains and propane tanks. Ooh, Welcome propane to tanks. Coffee World. We guarantee you'll jaw a great time. What the fun is percolating. This is the third time I've requested something be done about the TV in my room. It keeps going on by itself. It's keeping me awake all night. Yes, sir, I'm terribly sorry for that. Uh, we've called a professional electrician. In the meantime, have you tried unplugging the TV for the night? Oh, oh, there's an idea, Einstein. Why, why, why don't I just get rid of everything I'm paying for in that room while I'm at it? Sleep on the floor. Go to the toilet in the corner. Yeah, I'm not unplugging it. You're fixing it. Of course, sir. That's a mighty beard, man. By the way, that commercial was great. Seriously, stop feeding the goats. Stop giving the goats coffee. Bloop, bloop, bloop. It doesn't budge. Not even a little. Guys, that pizza's been here for days now. Just, just fucking throw it out, please. Is there anything else I can help you with, sir? Would you like a complimentary dinner tonight? Well, that almost makes up for the ineptitude of this place. I'm Watch. glad to hear it. <laughs> Watch it gets food poisoning. I swear I brought my full kid along. Jules, you didn't forget to pack the EMF reader, did you? Why would I pack your gear? I've got my own to worry about. Great. Now how am I supposed to measure the energy signatures emitted by paranormal manifestations? Looks like we got some competition in the area. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I in your way? I'm sorry. I can't wait to hit the haunts. We should check the town out first. You know, do research. Interview some locals. Get the feel of the place. Not before I find my frickin' EMF reader. Indeed. All right. I'm sure if I wander around the town, I will see some interesting stuff or hear some interesting stuff. Actually, have a nice day. Oh, thank you. Let's see what these guys have to say. Hello. How are you? Eh, doing all right. What what are we looking Hello. at? Hello. How's it going? Good. You guys are weird. You're like looking at me but not looking at me. It's like you're looking at the top of my head. All right, I'm out. Peace. Peace in the Middle East, which will fortunately never happen. Let's go to Watery. Yeah, Anderson, I didn't want to 
to say this in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea? Not even on your own. Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true, or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real funny. What happened with the salt shaker? I know I played a trick on him with a salt shaker. Me in a trailer, somewhere in Watery. I should ask around. Local girl. The flooding is even worse here. More like underwatery. <laughs> I'll have to tell Casey that one later. Now I got my shoes all wet. Fishing rules. Do not feed the fish. No catch and release. Cook what you catch. Have you seen me? Stella. Aw, Stella's a cute pup. I'm sure hey, he'll turn up. What did you use She'll to say turn your up. dream job was as a kid? I bet it wasn't dock worker. I don't know about all that. But idle hands are the devil's playground. So Well, us fishing types appreciate you all at least. You guys are fishing, you should be quiet. No talking. Scare the fish. Sorry, we're closed. Hey, where's the time gone? There's just a wretched husk of what used to be me left. Oh my god, someone's having an existential crisis here. No, thank you. Watery's definitely quaint. Good day. Good day, mate. Sammy's catch of the day. I bet they have good fish here. Do you? Nope, nope, nope. When do I get a lockpick? Ooh. <gasps> Just leaving bullets out like that in the middle of the fucking... Another rubber duck. I'm watching you. I'm fucking watching you. Oh, okay. So, wait. I couldn't go in here, right? No. Out of business. Oh. Well, they say being old is just a state of mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd like to give that a piece of mind. Mayor Setter, Setter will stand up for justice. Mayor Setter will stand up for justice. Setta for mayor, because Setta is better. No talking points? You uh, you got a bit of a spill on your table there. Okay, bye. A vote for mayor Setter. No, no, I already left. You, you, you lost your chance. I, I left already. You're done. So pretty sure I need to go in there. Take a quick Enjoy look your around. day. Thank you. Why are you hiding out under here? Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. A trailer park. Ilmo Koskela. He's that tour guide we met at Cauldron Lake. I need to find him. Mom's family was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Like this Sonnet. place? Lakes. Seems nice. Uh. Enjoying the sauna? You bet. 
Uh, the steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. Uh, I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. I've read that taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. Yeah. <laughs> Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure, I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Do you think that'd work? You're the professional. Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. Agreed. So I'm guessing the sauna's in here. Hey, Seva. A sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a goner. They also say silence is golden. Story full. Do I... No, I don't need it. Bolt. You know what? I'll discard it. I'll make room for uh, medication. Medicina. More medicine. Whew. Hot. No shit. Nothing. Rubber ducky again, you son of a bitch. Let's see what these guys hey, have to say. Hey, Saga! Over here! Oh. Uh, I'll come back. I'm pretty sure he's the way forward. Like, talking to him is the way forward, I mean. Wow, you look like you've seen better days. Frankly, this whole place looks like it's seen better days. You know, I'm glad these people are just like violating, you know, laws. Just keeping like bullets and flares and shit out. Oh, you rascal. What have you been up to this time around? There's only so many times I can keep fixing the same hole. Where? Where's this hole? I mean, you're the one creating the hole there. Get loose from the mooring. Hitch you up so securely. I swear this vessel has a mind of its own. Maybe it's an AWE. Just randomly creates holes in itself. Hello. Do you have a second? Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Thor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry. No, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You've seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. Hey, how's it going? So another person that recognizes us from before. Is this Scratch rewriting reality? Okay then, catchy tune. 
Sorry, I'm just enjoying the, the music. I don't know, I can't tell if he's talking about Alan or Scratch. Are these like the developers or something? Because there's a lot of like, um, uh, I'm going to be ignorant here, uh, Swedish, Finnish names. Sure, there's a lot there. Uh, is this Watery's own Nessie? An anonymous source sent this photograph to our editors, claiming it was captured during the last full moon. A majestic beast hidden in the depths of the water or an elaborate prank. A sea creature that defies the very laws of nature or a submarine relic from the Cold War era. A lonely wanderer searching for companionship and compassion or a fearsome monster out for blood. These questions, among others, <laughs> haunt our editorial team here at the Bright Falls Record. After one of our avid readers sent in this mysterious photograph as evidence of an unidentified creature roaming watery waters and making a rare but opportune appearance, this titillating spotting might just be the event of the year. As we dive deeper into this mystery, we here at the Bright Falls Record invite all our readers to a naming competition. What should our local beast be called? Watery Wanda, Shelly the Sea Monster, send in your suggestions now. More updates and revelations to follow as the story un unfolds. Moose Fest meets Su Suomi Hall, raffles, karaoke, and skits. I'm not going to say those names. Come one, come all. Welcome to Coffee World. One of a kind amusement park opens in Watery. I'm sure all of our readers know Ilmo Koskela, who, with the Hobbler's brother Yako, has been making our small town of Watery a bustling hub with his various business ventures. The latest of these, Coffee World, has its grand opening just around the corner. I had the chance to ask Ilmo a few questions about Coffee World. Ilmo, what is Coffee World about? I'm glad you asked. Coffee World is the world's greatest coffee-themed amusement park. Uh, sorry, is the world's greatest coffee-themed amusement park for all ages. And right here in our in our hometown of Watery. It's got all the riots, thrills, and excitement you can ask for. And of course, lots of delicious fresh coffee. Both hot and iced. Put that in. How, how did this unique business idea come about? Well, as you know, I'm all about ideas. An idealist, you could say. But what's even more important to me than my many successful businesses is our hometown. With my help, we can revitalize Watery, build its economy back up, bring the tourists back in, and enjoy ourselves in the process, too. Coffee World is just as much for the townspeople as it is for the out-of-towners. Which attraction should the visitors be, not, should be sure not to miss? Oh, that's like having to choose a favorite child. It's impossible. The Slow Roaster is, of course, a wonderful ride full of mystery and magic. And the Espresso Express is sure to give you a thrill. Also, don't forget to drop by the Fresh Pot gift shop on your way out. Never know what treasures you might find. Coffee, at least, I bet. Yes. So the song does not end, it just repeats. A 
terrifyingly strange dive into the dark depths of an artist's mind. Tom the Poet, filmed by Thomas Zane. There you go. Thomas Zane, huh? A pinprick of light in an ocean of darkness, starring Thomas Zane as the diver, Barbara Jagger as the dark presence, Cynthia Weaver as the Lady of the Light, Emil Hartman as the assistant. Written and directed by Thomas Zane, based on a novel by Alan Wake. A dark place and not a lake production. That's what it says on the poster at the bottom. The Dark Doppelganger and the Art and Life of Thomas Zane, original Thomas Zane, the auteur. Guest lecture by the president of the Bright Falls Film Society, Thomas Emerson. Discussing Zane's early career in Finland, his artist commune in Bright Falls, his lost work, Tom the Poet, his mysterious disappearance in 1970, playing his own dark double in, the, in his films, The Poet, The Writer, and The Diver, Thomas the Rhymer. 24th of November, 2023, Watery Sumi Hall. Okay. This has to cement the fact that we're still in the dark place. This has to cement it. I mean, come on. Such a shame. Yeah, let's put some of this stuff away. Um, yeah, we can move these. Oh, wait, what is this? Adds one charge to Saga's flashlight. Oh, cool. What does this currently do? Attack stagger enemies more often, increases half their duration area effect. I'll keep those. Increases max health. Yeah. Um. What is this propane tank? Throwable gas canister. Detonates one shot, inflicting heavy damage to anything nearby. Um, I'll move this over for now. Ah, to yeah, the janitors. Oh, that's cool. Are those the... I don't know who the girl is, but I think the guys in the background, like the, the, the musicians, I forgot the word. I think they're poets of the fall. I can't really tell. That's really cool. All right. Anyways. These guys are like completely enthralled, eh? Ooh, a map. Alright, that's enough of all this. Let's go talk to what's his face. To Ilko. Hey, Ilmo. How did Ilmo, you walk in the woods Ilko, with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. <laughs> Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but, uh... Now it's gotten pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it. Hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. I'm wondering if it's the same voice actor for both. And, the, like, the actual actor. Because they kind of look alike. Uh, in the the TV spots, 
You'd just be wearing like a big fake beard, right? You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Is the horror story messing with their memories? Maybe it's messing with yours. So what is Coffee World? <laughs> you mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose. Until recently. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. And about your commercials. So, your commercials? They're more than commercial saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And, uh... Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. Really? <sighs> Fuck off. I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and, uh, check them all out. I certainly Hopefully do enjoy them. May move the case forward. All right, guys. I'm just gonna stare blankly at your faces for like the next five to ten minutes. Don't don't worry about it. All right. Let us start with the profiling first. Urban legend. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops, brother. Yako, the shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Light, laughter, and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. And the coffee world. Yep. So, let's... Fact versus fiction. According to Wake the Memory, the story is changing people's memories. What is fact and what is fiction? So. Wake says the story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. According to Wake, the story's changing people's memories. That's why they think they know me. But I'm not a character, I'm real. Need to track what's part of the story and what isn't. Which parts are false, which, if any, are real. So Ilmo, owned the trailer park where I supposedly lived, calls me his funniest resident. <laughs> Finally, someone appreciates my jokes. But seriously, what kind of life did I live here? So my life in watery? Rose, recognize me in the diner at Bright Falls. Says I moved away after Logan died. Hmm. No. I would have thought it would have been there. Logan's part in the story. Okay. Logan is not dead. But what else did the story change about her life? Knowing might help me fight this thing. So actually, here's another question. If everyone believes that Logan's died, 
does that mean that eventually Logan will actually be dead? Because we already talked to Logan a few times on the phone. We know that she's alive and real. I guess after Deerfest, like everything Scratch wrote, like will actually come true. So Logan will probably be dead at that point. Oh, whoops. Uh, and then we have the Trail of the Cult. So, an ad for the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. That goes there. The trailer Park is a good place to look for a trailer. Keep it simple, Saga. So, Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, good place to start. The sign says, contact Ilmo Koskela for showings. So, what Ilmo knows. Ilmo is certain that I used to live here. That I owned a trailer here. That I'm a member of the community. They really think I lived here. This is unnerving. But at least I can exploit it to get inside this trailer. Okay. So I think we'll pause there uh, for this episode. Um, it's interesting kind of seeing what Alan's talking about, like Scratch, like rewriting reality. It's already kind of starting to take effect. Um... Again, this is all under the assumption. See, I'm of I'm of two minds right now. I still think we're in the dark place, so it's super easy to rewrite the reality around you. Um but we've seen in the first Alan Wake that um rewriting reality, like writing the story, uh changing shit here and there eventually does happen too and we are seeing the gradual changes so again i'm of two minds i this stuff here is like because it's happening so subtly it leads me to believe that it's actually real but narratively to me it's more satisfying to realize that they're still in the dark place if that makes sense Again, we'll we'll see what happens. Um, I I feel like it's going to be a long while before we actually really find out. But hey, that's part of the fun, right? In the meantime, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.